and sometimes they can appear to be painfully loud, but you can and will use your own voice to drown out that noise. Because that's what it is. It is just noise. But your voices are those of truth and hope, and your voices can and should be much louder. I know that you've already done so much and made so many people live better. The moment we're living through right now asks all of us to do more. It's a moment where your voices and your action have never been more urgently needed. And we can take inspiration from women like Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who brought New Zealand together to swiftly and boldly tackle COVID-19. Or there's Maya Moore, the WNBA star who sat out from professional basketball since 2019 to free a man who served 20 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. And those are just two examples. As you well know, there are so many others. Believing in true equality is not enough. It's gonna take more than belief. We have to work for it every day. Even when it's hard, even when it makes others feel uneasy, we have to speak up for ourselves and we have to speak out for others who struggle to be heard. Like them, I know all of you will use your voices courageously. And I also know that all of you will use your voices compassionately. Now, compassion doesn't mean we shouldn't feel anger or outrage when we see blatant injustice all around us. I mean, of course we should. But I challenge you to broaden that feeling. The Dalai Lama famously said, compassion is the radicalism of our time. Compassion means seeing the pain and suffering of others and knowing that it's our duty to try to help relieve it. 